So one of my favorite hobbies to do um, when I have visitors come out here, especially if you're not from Canada, is to feed them uh, a Nanaimo bar, which is a Canadian dessert, but it actually comes from the city of Nanaimo, which is um, just across the ferry ride from here, so it's pretty much right here. So this is where the Nanaimo bar is from, and I think this is the definitive Nanaimo bar. And uh, yeah, have at it. You gotta give us a review. <laughs> I mean, I never finish a whole one, but... I could not eat that whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, saloon area over here is starting to come together. We patched the uh, spot in the deck that we had and we did some rotten beam sections underneath that I need to replace too. Uh, but yeah, it feels pretty good. I think we've only got like three more holes in the deck on the whole boat. So we've patched, how many now? Seven or eight holes? Yeah, so a dozen holes roughly. Not too bad actually, all things considered. Um, I thought I'd be replacing pretty much all the deck and it looks like it's just doing patchwork today. So um, while I've been busy doing that, Sasha's been really busy handling the beams that are going to be used on the rear um, deck area. So that will be kind of like an outdoor space. Uh, eventually it'll have a picnic table and kind of be like a, a, the main cockpit of the boat um, behind the captain's seat and everything. But uh, it's... Uh, for now, it's just a big open pit and it'll be really nice just to have a, a space where we can set up like the table saw and a couple other things and, and have it sheltered from the rain uh, this coming winter and be, be able to do a lot of work while we're um, moving the boat around. So I'm excited to get those beams in. Big news. All right, so since Stash is here for uh, less than a week, we decided that we should really take her out sailing today before I make her sand the rest of her vacation out here. And uh, we got her on the tiller right away. Look at that freaking natural. You got this. And don't mind the motor. We're not actually motoring. We're all on full sail right now. This is kind of nice. We got those, a lot of storms in June. We got a lot of wind in June. So this is probably one of the last weeks we'll be able to actually sail, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we got a bit of current, not too much. And we've got, uh, we got a bit of wind. So, smacking good sailing. Let's do it. You got this. Hi, champ. It's like, I fucking love it. I fucking love sailing. I'm a big dumb face. You gonna go up on that side? Go on, up, up. Other 
Southeast Asian buffet. They make so much money, but it's... You can see Yeah, I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing it, but we're back at Pirate Cove. Um, we did another stern tie off again. I learned a little lesson that if you uh, align from the stern through the chain and then back to the stern so that when you want to undo it, all you have to do is tie, untie it out the boat and off you go. I also need longer rope to do that. But you know, one lesson a day is one lesson enough, I think. Pirate's Cove, um, and uh, we're gonna try and sail back, but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna motor in the whole way. We just will have dinner soon. Champ, you're very much in the way. What are, you, what are you gonna do? You gonna come down here? Come on, come on, come here. All right, yeah, because I said so, now you're not gonna do it. I hope you're enjoying your seat there, Sasha. Mm. Being sat on. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's gonna be another one of those hectic, get a lot of work done because of a lot of people on board kind of days. We have five of us on board today. Um, Alicia came over from Thetis Island. She's Chris's wife. Chris is out here, Alicia's husband. And their son's running around here too, look at him. Oh, can't look at him because it's all overexposed. All right, and they're out there figuring out where the beam's gonna go, so we're making a line for that. And the sound you hear in the background, that's Sasha, she's working on some of the beams for the rear deck, getting them ready to go. So everyone's busy at work, I'm gonna try and film as much of this as I can, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a hectic day. And, and then his butt. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he looks like it. And he's also <laughs> taller than me. It's like this build is built, boat is built for a tall person. I'm not sure <laughs> what that's about, but it's not user friendly. Maybe you just have vertical envy. <laughs> vertical envy. Oh. <laughs> I hope you got a lot. I'm run out of syllables for the day. I'm all done. <laughs> Do you guys have a really long couch back home? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a big dog in the yard. Yeah. We've reached the, uh, the the stupid level of tired now. Uh, it's about 5.30 <laughs> or 6 o'clock. Still feels like noon because we're so far north that uh, the altitude just keeps going and going until like sunsets like 10 p.m. But your body does not stand up to it because <laughs> we're getting a little silly and stupid. But lots of work got done. So much work got done. Um, we did sanding on the fairing, we laid in some more fairing. Sachi finished all those beams, so the rear deck is getting close. Look at all that plywood behind them there. Holy man, we got a mess coming in, a saloon. Should we call it a mess or a saloon? 
It's a saloon. It's a saloon. But it feels like a mess, though. It's I'm gonna be real. It's a messy saloon. <laughs> We're, we're just laying in the last piece of the countertop over here, and uh, I'm gonna make some dinner here in a minute using that uh, Secura grill, electric grill top, because we have so many people on board that one little induction blade is not enough to cook, so we gotta crack out the big guy and make some pork steaks. All right, pork steaks. Oh my God.